Uh, for this design, we adapted a traditional buoyancy control device, the BCD, uh, to make a self-standing, completely independent uh, design so that our primary user, Jessica Cox, a woman who was born without arms, uh, would allow her to scuba dive safely and independently, allowing her to control all the functions herself with just her feet. We thought, well, what if we get the center of buoyancy further away from the center of mass than it is? Because when Jessica balls up, it would bring her centers of mass and buoyancy very close together. We deduced that that was probably part of, you know, a great contributor to her problem of maintaining stability in the water. Right, we started with uh, a, a teleconference, yeah, speaking with um, her, her dive instructors at Dive Heart, sort of their take on, on what the issue was and then we got into the pool at SPAC and we really tried to simulate it as best we could, um, simulate very rudimentary solutions using you know just birthday balloons you know with, with some air pockets and, and things like that to sort, of, to sort of see what kind of direction would be helpful or what would be counterproductive for her. At the end of fall quarter we, uh, at our conceptual design review we presented our uh, design concept which while it had not been constructed fully, we discovered that the best things that were going to work were a high extra center of uh, buoyancy, so some extra buoyant pockets at the top around the shoulders, this uh, harness system that we weren't sure exactly what sort of shape it was going to take. We knew we wanted a harness and we were starting to narrow down what that was going to look like, as well as we decided to lengthen the uh, low pressure inflator hose so that they would go down towards the, a lot closer to somewhere between the knee and the ankle. I think one of the things that made our group such a strong group was that we had that careful balance of understanding how, how technical the project needed to be, but also providing a human touch to it that ultimately, like, our passion is doing human-centered design work, designing for clients and people who will use it. So this project in particular, over any other one, had that real personal, inspirational aspect to it. And, I mean, one of the reasons why we were so excited to work on it was to be able to design something for Jessica Cox, the user. Uh, she's an inspirational person and it makes it really easy to work on you know, a six month project when you have that kind of inspiration behind you, really driving you to, you know, to the end goal.